Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! Good day to you all. We begin our tale at the forefront of education, where young girls learn how to become proper ladies. Miss Matopachi! Once again, you're mixing too many things together. Hey, Teach! Am I really a bad apple? A rotten orange? No! You're a rotten zombie! Breaking news! A dump truck, perhaps caught in the throes of Teen Rebellion, has plowed through Class Z for no apparent reason. We are currently receiving reports of the disastrous aftermath. Teach! Why'd you save me? Don't die on me! Teach! Uh, I won't die on you, kid. Uh, hold on! This really has become quite a mixed bag, hasn't it? The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. My, how awful! The air is stagnant and the smell is wretched! We've reincarnated into the worst world yet! Well, sorry my home doesn't meet your freshness standards. Oh, um... So that means this is where my new home will be! Huh? Why the hell would you think that? If I'm with my beloved prince, any place is as good as home! But everything's in such horrible shape. Is that because... Yeah. This is what happened when Biko became the god of destruction. Zed, you know it can't be coincidence Super Reincarnation brought you here. The final battle may be near. Don't hesitate this time. You must lay Biko to rest. Yeah, I know. Today is the day I'll kill Biko. Episode 10. The final battle. Welcome to the Rosen Queen Company. We'll be awaiting your next visit. This is the quest shop. We got some new quests. Here, here, it's all you, here, it's all you, here, it's all you, it's all you now. Great job, great job. I'm counting on you. You can rebalance the netherworld here. Come again. Where do you wish to go? Kill Biko? Is there no other way, Prince Zed? Melodia's right. Consider carefully, Zed. Biko is your sister. Yeah. She's more important to me than anything else. That's why I want to free her from her suffering myself. Prism Zed, forced to take the life of his beloved younger sister. 
What a cruel plot twist! Indeed. Let us try to find another solution. If this can be solved with money, I'll fund it all. Stop it. The kindness you're showing will only cause Zed more suffering. So you say. But what you're encouraging is far too heartless. Enough talk. I know you're there. Show yourselves. Who are they? Some of the townsfolk. They're probably here to get payback for Biko destroying their village. But... Please listen! It wasn't Biko who destroyed your village! It was Biko after she became the God of Destruction! Piori, that wasn't a very convincing argument. These punks used to pull all sorts of crap on me and Biko. No amount of talking will stop them. I can handle these morons on my own. I'll give them a taste of how they treated Biko. Let's see how they like it! Are you sure you don't want to finish them off, Zed? Yeah. I haven't forgiven them for how they treated Biko. But if I don't hold back, I'll be trash, just like them. You've changed, Zed. Not so long ago you would have finished them off with a sadistic laugh. Really? I don't think I've changed that much. But whatever. Cerberus... Were the villagers always this weak? They used to punch and kick me. They'd even tear off my arms. You've just become stronger, Zed. After so many reincarnations, you're nearly as strong as the God of Destruction. Some random villagers could never be a match for you as you are now. Huh, that right. I guess I have gotten stronger. Still, it's too little too late. Follow me, please. Zed? Biko was a kind child, was she not? Yeah. Super Turbo Mega Ultra Kind. It's like the word was invented just to describe her. Then how did that kind sister of yours end up becoming a god of destruction? No clue. I still remember when it happened, though. That day, punks from the village were bullying Biko as usual. I rushed in to help her, but I didn't even get a punch in before they took me down. Biko was crying and screaming as they tore off my arms and broke my legs. I was just some ragdoll to them. Oh, what horrid people! Utterly unforgivable! I really didn't care. I was just happy Biko was okay. I decided to let them do whatever they wanted until they got bored. Same as always. That's when everything went wrong. Something weird happened to Biko, and she transformed into the God of Destruction. As soon as she did, she basically destroyed the village in no time. It's almost like she was finally unleashing all the anger she was holding inside. Was it rage over your mistreatment that drove her to transform? Hmm, I 
wonder if that really is the reason why. I find it difficult to believe that just a little anger could turn such a sweet girl into a god of destruction. This has the stench of evil doing all over it! I've heard rumors that some moronic overlord was trying to resurrect an ancient god of destruction. That's it! That overlord must be the culprit! Hmm, that does seem quite possible. Does it? If that's true, I guess I owe someone a million deaths. But... Saving Biko as soon as possible is way more important than figuring out who's to blame and why. I'll never be able to do that with my rotten brain. That's why I only tried to deal with the aftermath. I just wanted to save Biko. She's all alone, crying inside that god of destruction. That's right. You were only thinking of how to save your sister this whole time. If only we could find another way. said, is defeating the God of Destruction really the only way to save Biko? This again? Damn, you don't let up, do you? But the way things are going, neither you nor Biko will have a happy ending. Yeah, I guess that's true. Can you really accept that, Prince Zed? Hell no! But what else can I do? There was never going to be any damn happy ending for either of us. Of all the possible bad endings, putting Biko to rest is the best she can get. Uh, how about super reincarnating and preventing her from becoming the god of destruction in the first place? You can't change destiny with that spell. Wasn't it proof enough when Marjoline failed to change the past? Maybe if we combine our strength, a miracle will happen! Impossible. Fate cannot change, and Biko cannot be returned. What about money? I'll gladly donate to the cause if it helps. The power of money, love, or even justice cannot divert the wheels of fate. How can you say that with such conviction? What do you know, dog? Long ago, a man repeatedly super reincarnated to save his beloved, who had become a god of destruction. He fought until his body fell to pieces. In the end, he could neither change her fate nor undo her transformation. God of destruction must be killed. That man who lost everything and was reduced to a dog was forced to accept that truth.
Where do you wish to go? So, you lost someone important to you too, huh, prison pup? What happened to your beloved? I killed her. With my own hands. Oh, that must have been painful for you. After that, I developed Super Reincarnation and reincarnated countless times so I could change the past. It was almost enough to drive a person mad. I see. I can only imagine the tenacity that took. But despite all your efforts, the past remained unchanged. Correct. If it had, I wouldn't be sitting before you as this ragged creature. This is reality. Just let Zed face it already. <sighs> the only way to save Biko is to kill her. The one who suffers the most from that truth is Zed. Sh shut up, damn it! Why the hell are you still flapping your yap, you stupid mutt? I won't hesitate anymore. You'll see. Said. We've tried everything in the book, but Zed's body has already exceeded its limits. He started out as a weak little zombie, after all. Honestly, it's amazing that he's lasted as long as he has. The next fight against the God of Destruction will most likely be his last. He'll fall to pieces like I did. Th that just won't do! What will become of our happily ever after, Prince said? Worry not, Melodia. I'll use the power of money to transfer his consciousness into a robot for you. Great idea! Make it a super huge one! That way, the Prism Rangers will finally get the giant robot we need! <laughs> what a pain in the ass. You guys do whatever you want. Zed, we should rest before the final battle. Can you recommend anywhere nice? <laughs> There's nothing nice around here, and Biko's more important than... Zed's house is just up ahead. Why don't we go there? Uh, Cerberus? Now, now, Prince Zed. There's no harm in taking a little break.
follow me, please. So this is where you grew up, Prince said. Which means this place shall be our own little love shack. Isn't that right, my darling? How did you make that jump? Mm. Oh. Damn it, you guys said you wanted me to rest. Don't make me yell like that. Oh, this picture here. Is this little Biko? Cute. Hey! Keep your dirty hands off my stuff, damn it! My! Look what I found in a certain someone's underwear drawer! Aw, super cute! Knock it off! You guys don't actually give a crap about getting any rest, do you? <laughs> Forgive them, Zed. They're trying their best to put your heart at ease however they can. I don't know about that. What is going on? You punks! Here to get some payback for earlier? Whatever. If that's what you want, come and get it. Let's go, guys. This is it. Are you really sure about this, Prince Ed? Yeah. I just want things to come to an end. My body's already falling apart. I don't want to admit it, but I can't do this on my own. Wish I didn't have to ask, but please. I need your help. Please. Goodness, this is the first time I've ever seen Zed bow his head to anyone. And the first time we've ever heard him admit weakness. He must really be feeling the pressure. Don't worry, Prince Zed. We'd never leave you to suffer all alone. That's right. We'll share in our trials together. That's what true allies do. You guys... You've certainly made some excellent friends on this journey of yours, Zed. Friends, huh? I never thought I'd need them. All right. Let's go. Biko's waiting. Just a little longer. 
Wait for us, Biko. Bubby will put you to rest soon. I don't remember a thing about my old man or my ma, but thanks to Biko, I was happy. When Biko smiled, it would make me warm inside. Almost enough to make me feel like I had blood in my veins. But now she's turned into something that can't even smile. She can only destroy things. No way that's okay. Biko, I'll send you to Celestia. But I don't think I'll be able to join you there. Bubby's done a lot of bad stuff trying to get stronger. Sorry, Biko. This is the quest shop. I'm counting on you. Where do you wish to go? It's been a long road. I'll put your heart to rest, Biko. Mysador. Hmm? What is it, Zed? It was pretty fun running around in your world. The power of money isn't so bad, you know? <laughs> of course it isn't. In the end, money still makes the world go round. Piori. Reporting in! I sure hope you can get seven people for your, uh... Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers someday. Me too. But you know what? I'm 100% sure our current lineup's the best. Marjoline? What's going on with you? What happened to old hack? Your appearance and reputation don't matter. You're a great teacher, and don't let anyone tell you different. You know, you cheeky little brat. Melodia. Prince Ed. Sorry. For not being able to give you your happy ending, I mean. Oh, never mind that. I am truly happy to have met you, Prince Ed. Yeah. Same here. Thanks, everyone. God of Destruction's falling. You managed to overcome it with the power of your bonds. Biko, I won't let you die alone. When you die, Bubby will go with you. I can't let you suffer all by yourself. Thanks for fighting at my side, everybody. I only managed to save Biko because of you. I can put an end to everything now.
Rest in peace. Be gone. With this, it's all over! Zed, you're all right. Is she? Yeah, it's Biko. She, she's back to normal. She'll have a happy ending after all. No, her heart's not beating. That can't be. It's okay. All right, Vigo. Now we can finally rest. Prince Zed! Prince Zed! Huh. <laughs>